Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So yeah, uh, first off I just want to give a, an apology out just to say that it's been, you know, it's been such a long time since my last video. I haven't really felt the urge to make or create content this month. Um, did do a live stream which I really enjoyed, thought went really well. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd make things up to everyone who watches my videos just to, you know, try and um, do a, a deliver on an impressive uh, Blu-ray and 4K haul this this month. So I picked up nearly 70 titles this month. Um, I don't want this video to go on any longer than it needs to, so I'm going to just get straight into the titles. Um, yeah, and just show you what I picked up. Um, so yeah, going into the Blu-rays first. Um, picked up um, uh, some bootlegs of possibly the most popular TV show at the minute. Uh, so the first one I got was uh, Season 1 of Stranger Things. Uh, also picked up Season 2. Season 3. And finally Season 4. Um, do enjoy Stranger Things. I do think it is a good show. It's by no way my favourite. Um, but yeah, do enjoy the show. Um, it, is, it is a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, next up I picked up um, two sort of animated movies because um, I really adore the live action ones and I've really been enjoying re-watching those. Um, so yeah, picked up the first Adam's Family and Adam's Family 2. Um, these these movies were okay for what they were. They weren't the best. A um, bit odd in, this, in the, um, the storyline to these two movies, but I thought they were okay. They were harmless fun. Um, so yeah, last month um, I picked up the first movie in this franchise uh, last month, so I wanted to check the sequel out. Uh, so yeah, picked up Goosebumps 2. Um, not as good as the first in my opinion, but I still had a lot of fun with it, um, to say the least. Just thought it was it was fine. Um, harmless fluff. Um, so yeah, a bit of a newer release. Uh, I picked up um, Good Luck to You, Leo Grande, uh, or Grand. As it were, um, me personally, I am not a Katie Brand fan in any way, shape or form, but she wrote the hell out of this movie. I thought this had absolutely impressive dialogue and was very uh, well written. And yeah, just enjoyed the movie, um, particularly about halfway through the movie where the the, um, the conversation between these two characters sort of takes a bit of a nosedive. I thought it was really interesting. But yeah, I just had a good time with it, and I just thought it was a, a, a fun, well-written movie. Well, very well acted as well. Uh, the two leads in this was absolutely phenomenal. So yeah, that is good luck to you, Leo Grand. Um, next I picked up, I, I think this is a Ridley Scott movie. Um, one I've not seen, but it's been on my radar for quite some time. Um, so I watched Kingdom of Heaven uh, with Orlando Bloom. I'm not an Orlando Bloom fan. Um, I think his best work's probably been Lord of the Rings, but... Outside of that, I just I just don't dig the guy's work, to be honest. I don't rate him as an actor. But this movie was okay. It was a bit over long, a bit long in the tooth uh, for its own good, if I'm honest. But I did enjoy it for what it was. Um, yeah, I might give this a rewatch in the future at some point. But yeah, as of now, it was just a one-time watch for me. But I, I, I still liked it for what it was. Um, next, I picked up uh, quite an awesome and gruesome um little horror film that i really enjoyed uh so yeah that is uh cube um i had a great time with this i thought it was a lot of fun very very creative in its execution and yeah just really really enjoyed this movie uh i fully recommend this one and uh, surprised i hadn't seen it um it took it, that it's taken me this long to give this movie a watch but yeah really really enjoyed cube um, next I picked up a sequel to another animated movie that I quite enjoyed, so I picked up Sing 2 um, off Amazon, and yeah, I had a good time with this movie as well, harmless fluff, harmless fun, great to see these characters back, and really enjoyed the, some of the music choices in this film as well, they were, it was quite funny at times, and yeah, I just enjoyed enjoyed it, so yeah, that is uh, Sing 2. Um, next, I picked up a uh, Burt Reynolds movie with Sally Field that I have heard, um, you know, in passing so many times uh, that it, it feels like one of those movies that I've I've grown up with and have seen. But this was a first time watch for me, um, and it is Smokey and the Bandit. Um, yeah, it was good fun. I, I enjoyed it for what it was. The two leads were really good in it, um, and yeah, can't really say much more 
more than that about it. It was it was just fun and I enjoyed it. So yeah, that is Smokey and the Bandit. Um, next, I got picked up a release that I got delivered yesterday, and again, it's a movie I've I've hit the title for. Uh, it's a movie with the two Corys in. Um, this being the third in my collection after The Lost Boys and uh, License to Drive. Uh, so I picked up uh, Dream, A Little Dream. Never seen this movie, I've got no idea what it's about other than the fact that the two Corys are in it. And yeah, um, haven't watched it yet, so I'm looking forward to checking it out. It's going to be a first time watch for me. It comes with really, really nice slipcover. Um, I just love the artwork on this, even if the film's no good. Um, really do appreciate good artwork um on physical releases so yeah that is dream a little dream um next i picked up a couple of christmas movies uh because uh christmas at the time of recording this christmas is only um a few months away so the first one i picked up was um an upgrade from dvd that i had uh so i picked up scrooged uh with bill murray uh adore this film um it's one that isn't one of my favourites, but it does grow on me each year that I watch it. Um, I just have a great time with it. And, yeah, can't really say any more, more about it than that. So, yeah, that is Scrooged. And the next one is one of my staples um, that I just really, really enjoy each year. I probably watch it maybe a couple of times at Christmas. Um, so I picked up uh, The Muppets Christmas Carol on Blu-ray. Um, I did check this to see if it um, had the song... Uh, I think When Love Is Gone restored in it, but no, it hasn't. I think the only way you can see that is on the VHS because uh, I know it's been removed from the DVD. I think it's been removed from Disney Plus as well. So I wanted to check if it was on the Blu-ray. Nope, sadly it's gone. Um, I think the only way to watch it is on the VHS, uh, which I still have. Um, but yeah, wanted to get this on Blu-ray. Um, it was quite pricey, but uh, I was in a position where I was able to pull the trigger on it. So I did, and... Yeah, it's uh, it's going to be one I'm looking forward to revisiting at Christmas on uh, Blu-ray. Uh, so yeah, next up, um, I picked up a horror movie that was on, uh, I think it was Watch Mojo's top 20 horror movies of all time, or top 50 horror movies of all time. And this one came up and I'd never ever seen it. I don't even think I'd heard of it. And um, I picked it up, watched it, and I had a really good time with it. Um, and that is uh, The Innocents. Uh, really, really good movie. It reminded me a lot of the original The Haunting. Um, yeah, just had a, a good time with it. And it was a solid film. Um, so, yeah, that is The, the Innocence. Um, next up, I uh, picked up uh, a movie written by John Hughes. I'd, I've seen this poster so many times, but never actually got around to watching the movie. So I picked up uh, Career Opportunities uh, with Jennifer Connelly. And yeah, this was this was this was a good movie for me. It, it fell apart towards the end. Um, I won't say what happens, but the third act of the movie didn't quite work for me as much as I wanted it to. Um, but the first act was great. Uh, it was great to see a Jamio, uh, Jamio, a cameo from John Candy in this movie. And yeah, I would like to have seen a bit more of him in it. But yeah, um, really, really enjoyed it. Really, really fun film. And yeah, glad I picked it up. So yeah, that is uh, career opportunities. Um, next, I picked up um, a sort of sci-fi movie. Now, this one was a bit of a cross for me between The Abyss and The Thing. And I know that's really, really high praise. Um, but yeah, the film itself was just okay, in my opinion. So I picked up, starring Peter Weller, I picked up Levi Leviathan. Um, never seen this before. It was a first time watch for me. And really enjoyed the cast in this. Didn't expect Ernie Hudson uh, and uh, Daniel Stern to be in this. But yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Not the best film ever, of course. Um, but yeah, being a cross between those two movies I mentioned, you know, is, is giving it high praise. But yeah, really, really enjoyed this one for what it was. Um, not the best movie ever, but I was entertained by it. Uh, so coming up next, we've got a, a Ron Howard movie, which I'd never seen before. I've been meaning to check this one out um, with uh, Henry Wrinkler and Michael Keaton. So I picked up Night Shift uh, on Blu-ray and yeah, I had a good time with it. It was fun. Um, not one I'm going to 
um, rewatch anytime soon, but I still enjoyed it for what it was. Uh, you probably hear me say that a lot about these movies. Um, but yeah, another first time watch and yeah, just really enjoyed it. It was just a lighthearted comedy for me um, and I just had a good time with it. So yeah, that is Night Shift. Um, next, I picked up an absolute sci-fi classic, uh, very underrated film as well, quite hard to get on Blu-ray as well these days. Um, so I've got the director's cut of Dark City. Um, yeah, I just uh, I adore this film. It's great, got a great cast to it. Um, Kiefer Sutherland, Jennifer Connelly, uh, I think Richard O'Brien's in this as well, uh, from The Crystal Maze. And yeah, I just, yeah, I love this movie. I love its dark tone, I love its themes, I love its cast. The performances, the directing, it's its just a great, great sci-fi movie that um, doesn't get all that talked about these days. I think I do think it is finding its tread and it's, uh, you know, amongst the community because um, it is a wonderful film. And yeah, just glad to uh, upgrade it to Blu-ray finally. So yeah, that is Dark City. Uh, next, I picked up uh, an absolute classic zombie film um, that I really, really enjoy. I was glad to get this on Blu-ray uh, finally, uh, so picked up uh, Return of the Living Dead um, on Blu-ray. Got this fairly cheap off Amazon uh, for about fifteen pound. Seen it in CEX going for nearly fifty, which is just uh, ridiculous. Um, but yeah, it's it's a fun fun zombie film. Um, really really good. Really really enjoy it. The sequel's not too bad either. Um, but yeah, for me, the, I, I do prefer the original. It's it's a lot of fun. And this movie and I just have a great time with it. So yeah, that is Return of the Living Dead. Um, next up, I picked up two Kate Russell movies that I just absolutely adore. Um, these movies are just a lot of fun. These are like typical sort of 90s Kate Russell. Uh, so the first one I picked up was Breakdown. I love this movie. The villains in this movie are just absolute scum. Um, I just You'd love to hate them. Um, and yeah, it's just real, real tense stuff, edge of your seat stuff, this movie. I just think it's fantastic. So yeah, that is Breakdown. And the other one I picked up on Blu-ray was Unlawful Entry, uh, alongside Kurt Russell. We've got Ray Liotta as well. One of his best movies, in my opinion. He is so unhinged and so creepy in this movie. Um, he's just so, so unsettling. Um, as this cop who wants to sort of help Kurt Russell out, but Kurt Russell doesn't really like the direction he's going so he just ends up sort of invading his home and yeah it's just really really creepy and really really well executed this movie and some really dark scenes in it too um but yeah i have a great time with it so yeah that is unlawful entry um next i picked up um another sort of horror movie uh, i suppose you could count, count this as a zombie film um came out the same year as return of the living dead Really glad to upgrade this one to Blu-ray. So we've got Reanimator uh, with Jeffrey Combs. Um, yeah, I love this film. It's 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 very much in the same vein as Return of the Living Dead. I think it falls into that bracket. But yeah, it's it's a great great film, and I, I absolutely love this one. Love the effects in it. Love the the humor in it. It's it's just it's just a really really fun time. So yeah, that is Reanimator. Next up, um, I mean, well, this movie, wow. Um, I, I, had a, I had a fun time with this movie. It's got awful, but it was entertaining, to say the least. Um, and that is Miami Connection. Um, comes with this really, really nice slip. And, yeah, I just had a fun time with this. I can't even tell you what the movie's about. The soundtrack was absolutely killer, though. Um, really, really entertaining stuff. Um, bizarre performances, bizarre story. Um, but the action scenes in this movie were just, oh God, off the charts enjoyable. Um, so yeah, that is Miami Connection. Next, I picked up one of my, well, my favourite Sam Raimi movie of all time. I watched this back to back with The Quick and the Dead, and it was just such a fun um, experience. Um, it's my favourite Bill Paxton movie as well, so I was really glad to upgrade this to Blu-ray. Uh, and that is a uh, simple plan. Wonderful, wonderful, underrated movie. This um, I've talked about this movie quite a bit, so I won't say too much about it. But performances in this movie are just absolutely solid, and the story is great as well. Um, so yeah, can't really say much more about it than that. So yeah, that is uh, a simple plan. 
Uh, next up, I picked up um, sort of a childhood classic of mine. I really, really um, love this movie. It's probably my favourite Adam Sandler movie. Uh, and that is The Wedding Singer with Drew Barrymore. Um, this is the extended cut as well. So um, if you want like the full version of the film, the Blu-ray is the way to go. Um, had one scene in particular that wasn't on my DVD. And yeah, just really glad to finally get it on um, Blu-ray. I think it's got, it looks great, you know, alongside um, Billy Madison and Happy Gilmore. And yeah, this is just a fun movie with a lot of charm to it. And yeah, I think Adam Sandler and um, Drew Barrymore have fantastic chemistry in this film. So yeah, that is uh, The Wedding Singer. Uh, next up, I upgraded a, uh, a couple of Schwarzenegger movies in my collection that um, I was sort of um, desperate to get these on Blu-ray. Um, so the first one I got was The Running Man. Um, when I did my uh, top 10 Schwarzenegger movies, this one came up a lot in the comments and I, I, I just completely omitted it because it just escaped my memory. Um, it wasn't one of my favourites growing up, but I've grown to like the movie quite a lot over the years. And yeah, just thought it was time to get it on, pull the trigger on the Blu-ray. So yeah, that is uh, The Running Man. And very sort of similar um, for me with this next movie is one that I didn't like the first time and it's grown on me over, over the years. Um, I don't really like the sequel to this movie, to be honest. Um, but uh, yeah, I picked up uh, Conan the Barbarian. Um, on Blu-ray and yeah this is this is a good solid revenge film um, in my opinion um, an early Schwarzenegger movie but yeah it's, it's 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 really quite good I really do enjoy this one um, so yeah and um, one of the last sort of Amory ones I picked up was Joel Schumacher movie uh, one that doesn't get talked about a hell of a lot um, this is sort of seen as a spiritual sequel to The Breakfast Club, this movie, and I had it on DVD for the longest time and really, really glad to get this on Blu-ray. Quite expensive, but really, uh, we, again, was in a position to pull the trigger on it. So I picked up St. Elmo's Fire on Blu-ray. I, I really like this movie. It's, it's nowhere near as good as The Breakfast Club if you're going to compare the two. But yeah, really, really fun movie with a great cast and yeah, just really, really dig this film. Um, just have a great time with it. Um, so yeah, um, those are pretty much all of the Blu-rays I picked up. Um, I'm just going to get into a few label releases now. So um, one of the first box sets I picked up um, this month was from 88 Films. And I picked up uh, Tiger Cage 1 to 3. Um, these movies were wonderful. I had so much fun with them. Uh, particularly the first two, um, it sort of follows the suit of you know those, those types of trilogies. Where as they go on, they get a bit sillier and a bit, a bit more far fetched. But all three of these movies, I thought were great and solid, and the artwork on this set is just absolutely wonderful. So you get the movies in there with a booklet. There's the spine, and the back artwork as well. It's just wonderful. Um, yeah, just three great films with Donnie Yen, and yeah, just had a a great time with these films and just an absolute blast um so yeah that is uh tiger cage one to three um so yeah coming up next we've got pretty much all the arrow blu-rays i picked up um you'll notice in this video i went absolutely nuts with arrow this month um these take up mo the bulk of the, the the pickups this month so i absolutely yeah i just went nuts as you'll see um, so yeah, first off, we've got a few standard releases from Arrow. Um, I picked up um, "What Have You Done" to Solange on Blu-ray. Um, yeah, this was really, really good. Really didn't expect much from this movie, but it really, really surprised me. A lot of twists and turns in it, and yeah, I just thought it was a great release from Arrow, and had a lot of fun with it. So yeah, that is "What Have You Done to Solange." Um, also picked up "The Last Matinee." Um, this was good, but I um, I had high expectations for it, to be honest, and that's my fault. But, um, yeah, it just didn't quite deliver for me. But still enjoyed it for what it was. Wasn't the wasn't the best film ever, but wasn't the worst either. So, yeah, that is Last Matinee. Um, next, I picked up um, two sort of forgotten slashes off Arrow as well. So we've got Girls' Night Out. Um, 
yeah, this was this was another good slasher movie. The end of this movie freaked me the fuck out. Um, to be honest, um, with the scene involving a freezer and the last shot of the movie, um, really, really unsettling stuff. Um, but you yeah, had a good time with it, none the least. So yeah, that is uh, Girls' Night Out. And the last sort of standard release I picked up, uh, Hell High. Um, again, this was another fun one. Um, really, really enjoyed the kills in this movie and, and the story to it as well. Bit all over the place with its pacing, but yeah, it was it, it was good fun. It was good fun. I enjoyed it for what it was. So yeah, that is uh, Hell High. Um, so yeah, I also picked up uh, a steelbook from Arrow. Um, this was a movie I watched last month and I loved it so much that I wanted to upgrade it, grade it to Blu-ray from the DVD I had. So I picked up Brian De Palma's Phantom of the Opera on uh, Steelbook. Uh, absolutely love and adore this movie. Um, it's just so much fun. I love the songs in it. I love the story. Um, it probably feels like the... Out of Brian De Palma's films, this one feels the least like a Brian De Palma film, but it's still excellent, and I just really, really enjoyed it. I love how how off the wall this movie was, um, in terms of its tone and story and its its cast. Um, really, really good fun, and uh, probably shooting up as one of my favorite musicals, to be honest. Um, yeah, just had a great time with it. So yeah, that is Phantom of the Paradise. Um, next, well, we're going to go into some box sets and some special editions. Um, so, yes, yeah, speaking of Brian De Palma, uh, picked up uh, the special edition of uh, Carrie um, on Blu-ray. Uh, had this on DVD for the longest time and wanted to upgrade it. So, yeah, you get standard Amray there as well. I've gone for the alternate to work on all of these sets. Um, just because I think they, they, they just... I, I like to have the two different types of artwork the arrow and the original um but yeah this is a great movie that i really really enjoy so yeah, had a, had a cracking time revisiting this so yeah, that is carrie uh, next up i picked up probably a movie that's you know considered to be one of wes craven's worst movies um and one of the worst sequels uh picked up the hills have eyes 2 on blu-ray i did pick up the first one which i'll show later um but yeah, again, went for the opposite artwork on this. And yeah, just, I didn't hate this movie, um, to be honest. I, I've heard terrible reviews. It had a dire score on IMDb. I didn't hate it. I, I actually really quite liked it, to be honest. Um, certainly not the not the, the best film ever. The acting in it is atrocious in at, at parts. But yeah, I, I, I kind of dog it for, for what it was, um, to be honest. So, yeah, that is uh, The Hills Have Eyes Part 2. Uh, next, I picked up a slasher movie that I actually saw for the first time when I was at university. And the gore in this movie just blew me away. Um, and nearly 10 years later, I finally picked it up on uh, Blu-ray in the special edition. So we've got pieces. Um, yeah, this was... this is the, I, I really like this movie. I really like its violence. Um, I just have a, a fun time with it. Um... So yeah, there's the alternative artwork, and yeah, just think it's just think it's a fun, fun movie and a great release from Arrow. So yeah, that is uh, pieces. Um, next, I picked up uh, Kevin Costner in Waterworld. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to the uh, release we're getting from Arrow, the 4K of Robin Hood, and I picked up Waterworld because I think those two Kevin Costner movies would just look great together on a shelf. Um, in the Arrow label, to be honest, we've got the alternate artwork there as well, and yeah, I just think these 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 sets look stunning, and I think they'll look stunning together on the shelf. Um, not a perfect movie by any means, but it's very very entertaining, shall we say? Dennis Hopper as the villain is always great. Um, in anything he's in, to be honest, just he has a lot. Of, he brings a lot of fun to the roles he does. And yeah, this was no exception. So yeah, that is Waterworld. So going into some of the um, the box sets now. Uh, picked up the house box set. Had this on DVD. Um, and yeah, just thought I wanted to upgrade it to, to Blu-ray. Because I do have fun with these movies. Uh, even though the fourth one's absolute dog shit. 
Um, yeah, I just have, uh, I, I do have fun with these, particularly the third one as well. Lance Hendrickson and Brian James together are just, just great as these, these, these yin and yang, good and evil. Um, shall we say the chemistry they have are just, just absolutely fantastic. And the first two are a lot of fun as well. Um, but yeah, not much more, more else I can say about it. So that is the uh, complete house collection. Uh, next up, uh, I picked up uh, this four westerns box set of uh, Vengeance Trails. Um, the only one I really sort of liked in this in this set was uh, Massacre Time. I thought the other three were just okay, um, but yeah, Massacre Time was great. That final that final act of this movie was uh, just superb. Uh, the set's really nice. There's not much going on the back, but we got the titles of the movies on the spine. Um, so. Yeah, it's uh, these are just fun westerns, um, to be honest. Um, nothing special, but yeah, really, really did have a good time with them for what they were. Uh, next up, I got this set uh, quite cheaply off uh, eBay because I've seen it go for quite a lot of money. Um, so to get this for less than £20, I think, was a steal. Uh, so this is the, the Vengeance trilogy. Uh, we've got Sympathy for Mr. Vengeance, Old Boy and Lady Vengeance. Uh, I really, really like the first two. Um, I think they're very, very entertaining, well-made movies. The third one was okay, um, but not as good as the first two for me. Um, but yeah, had a had a fun time with these films for what they were. Um, so yeah, that is the uh, the Vengeance trilogy. Um, next up, we have the Die Margin trilogy, which I picked up as well. Again, quite cheap on eBay. Um, the seller actually described this as a damaged box. I can't see any damage on this anywhere at all, to be honest with you. Um, yeah, it's in really, really good nick, and the discs were all fine, they all played, all played great, um, no issues at all with this set, and again, these movies were just great, great kaiju movies, and um, yeah, really, really like the way this is presented in this box, and yeah, just thought it was, it, it was a great steal, really, really enjoyed it. Uh, so next up, we uh, well, I picked up the uh, complete uh, Sartana. Uh, again, similar to the Vengeance box, uh, had had fun with these movies for what they were. Um, yeah, can't really say much more about it than that. They all sort of blended into one for me. Um, but yeah, really glad to have this set. It's really really nice, and yeah, they were they were they were fun for what they were. And uh, my last Blu-ray pickup. Um, was another Arrow box set. Uh, I've seen the Scarlet box set for this and it just looks stellar, but unfortunately that goes for silly money now. So I just opted for the standard release of the Hellraiser trilogy. Um, yeah, really, really like these movies. Uh, I think the first two are very, very creative, uh, particularly the second one for a sequel. Um, I think it's a lot better than it has any right to be. Um, but yeah, the third movie is still enjoyable. Um, I kind of like that the way it goes into the city, um, but yeah, um, a lot of fun, but uh, a flawed trilogy, shall we say. The first one's great, but yeah, the sequel's not so much. I haven't seen anything past three. I know there's like a million sequels to this franchise, but yeah, I haven't seen anything past three, and uh, I might do one day. I might sort of venture down that path, but as for now, just happy with that trilogy. Um, so yeah, those are all the Blu-rays that I picked up. Um, so I'm going to go into the 4Ks now. Um, not as long as the Blu-rays, but yeah, picked up some interesting stuff. Um, so yeah, the first 4K I picked up was a film by Luc Besson. I went to the cinema to see this uh, a few years ago. Uh, didn't actually own it. And the only reason why I picked this movie up was because there was a deal on an Amazon. And I needed to pick another movie to complete the deal. And I didn't own this one, so I just thought, why not? Uh, that is Valerion um, with Dane DeHaan and Carla Delevingne. Um, the, this movie's okay. It's it's not the best. Uh, visually, I think it's really interesting. But the two leads in this movie have fuck all chemistry. Um, they just really, really do. They just it's like as if they've they're supposed to be like a I think they're supposed to be like a married couple. Uh, it feels like they've just met that day. Um, to be honest, and they just they they have zero zero bounce off each other they just they, it, it doesn't work and it's not believable for me but i think visually it's interesting um 
I think Ethan Hawke and Clive Owen were probably the best parts about this movie, but yeah, that is, that, that's Valerian. I can't say much more about it than that. Um, so next I picked up two movies off um, the HMV deal. I think it was two for £30. So again, another um, Schwarzenegger movie I wanted to upgrade. And we've got Raw Deal coming out, um, I think, in a couple of weeks. Um, so yeah, we've got this to go along with it. And that is Red Heat uh, with uh, Schwarzenegger and uh, Belushi, of course. Uh, I really like this movie. I have a great time with it. I know it's not one of Schwarzenegger's best, but I think it's a lot of fun. And I really, really do enjoy it. Um, and the other movie I picked up on that deal was um, a movie I grew up with. I, I really like this movie. I think it really is good. But I was a bit worried some of the CGI wasn't going to hold up, um, particularly with the monkeys. And you'll know what I'm on about. Um, so I picked up on 4K Jumanji. Um, it looks really solid. Really, really good. Um, the, the the monkeys in this movie don't look great. Um, they, to be honest, they never really did. Even on the DVDs, you know the 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 CGI looked very very ropey. Um, but the 4K, it it didn't take me out the movie at all. To be honest, um, all the practical stuff in this movie is great. Um, and it's it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of solid. This is one that sort of gets better for me the more I watch it. I love um. Robin Williams, Alan Parrish in this movie. I just think he's he's great. Um, you know how he's been sort of trapped in this board game in this jungle and has survived for over twenty odd years. It's just a really really fun film and really really creative. Um, and yeah, just have a blast with it. So yeah, that is Jumanji. Um, next, I picked up a, a another a recent release from this month. Um, movie by Baz Luhrmann and I know this has divided quite a lot of people so I picked up the steelbook of the 4k of Elvis um, not the best steelbook in the world but yeah I do enjoy uh, I, I did quite like it for what it was and I really like the movie too I think the movie is really really good um, it gets better as it goes along it was definitely better on a second rewatch um, but yeah, it just it, it has flaws in that first the first act for me uh, with its pacing and um, its editing for me. I was like, what's this movie doing? Where are we going? But it found its footing and it really really took off in the second and third act for me. And I did enjoy it. I know Tom Hanks is getting a lot of shit for his performance in this movie. Uh, he never really bothered me to be honest. Um, but yeah, I still enjoyed it for what it was. So yeah, that is Elvis. Uh, next, I picked up uh, another movie I've upgraded from uh, straight from DVD to 4K. I've not seen the 4K of it yet, but I picked up Clint Eastwood in In the Line of Fire. Um, yeah, this is one of my favourite action movies from the 90s, but haven't rewatched it on 4K yet. And yeah, it's just a lot of fun, this movie. Uh, John Malkovich, I don't think, has been creepier, um, to be honest, in this film. Um, yeah, just absolutely terrifying. Um, so yeah, next I picked up um, two movies I've upgraded to 4K. These are two John Carpenter movies, and they're amongst some of his best. Um, so this was the other film that I got with Valerian that was on that deal. Um, so I picked up They Live on 4K. Um, haven't popped this in yet to see what it looks like, but I've heard that John Carpenter's 4Ks are just absolutely fantastic. So yeah, picked up They Live, and picked up arguably a contender for John Carpenter's best movie. Uh, picked up the thing on 4k as well now this one i did pop in and just to see what it looked like on 4k and my word it just looked superb to be honest the color i could tell straight away um the colors in this movie were just so much more vibrant so much more full of life than the blu-ray um and yeah i just i can't wait to sit down and watch it in full because i just think it's going to be a fantastic experience on 4k so yeah that is john carpenter's the thing um, next, I picked up a steelbook. Um, I actually think I, I must have got this early um, because I've, I, I've been talking to people about it, and um, yeah, they're really intrigued to know what it, to know what it's uh, like. So I picked up on the 4K steelbook of my favorite vampire film of all time, *Fright Night*. Um, I love the artwork on this thing; really, really nice. The only complaint I have about the artwork is I think it just looks a little bit off center. I think it's sort of shifting over to that side just a little bit. But other than that, I still think it looks fantastic. Um, the artwork we got on the discs as well. 
just absolutely superb. The 4K disc itself looks great. Um, obviously, this being a Sony release, it's going to look great by default, I think, with it being Sony. The only thing I'd say about this, and I did mention this on the stream the other night, um, is the... I'm not going to spoil the movie, but there's a nightclub scene in this movie um, where four songs are played. The second and fourth song have the lyrics completely omitted from the um, from that from that scene. I don't know why they chose to do that because those songs are great. Um, but for me, I couldn't hear the lyrics at all if they took them out or if they just really really turned the sound down on the vocals. I don't know why they chose to do that. Really really odd choice. But the Blu-ray that comes with this does have that scene intact with all the songs untampered with. Um, but yeah, other than that, really, really happy to own this. Um, so yeah, that is Fright Night on 4K. Uh, next, I picked up a first time watch for me, uh, which I really enjoyed. I really had a good time with this. Uh, it's from Scream Factory. So I picked up on 4K, The Sword and the Sorcerer. Um, absolutely love this slipcover. I just think it looks great. And um, we've got some alternative artwork on the case itself. But yeah, had a had a really really good time with this film. Not great, not perfect, but very entertaining on the least. And yeah, I thought the design of the sword in the film just looked really awesome, really daft and impractical. But yeah, a lot of fun this movie. So yeah, that is the sword and the sorcerer. Um, next, we're going to get into some box sets, uh, special edition releases. So first up from Warner Brothers, uh, I picked up uh, The Lost Boys on 4K. Um, this movie looks immaculate on 4K. Um, really, really nice set that they've released here. The only thing is I'm not a big fan of the actual artwork on the case itself. I really wish they'd gone for more of the original poster. Um, it's not the exact same as the cover on here, but it's very similar um, to the cover on the booklet we get. But, yeah, just really wish they'd, they'd gone with that original artwork as opposed to uh, the one we actually got. Um, so, yeah, another Warner Brothers release I picked up. Uh, the 4K special edition of Poltergeist. Um, we get a, a fantastic steelbook with this as well. And yeah, the movie looks fantastic on, on 4K. The only thing I don't really like is the glue they've used on the uh, the J cards. I've really, really stressed the top of this case and really, really sort of uh, damaged it to an extent. Um, but yeah, great looking 4K though. Um, the next movie I picked up was the special release uh, from Studio Canal of The Outsiders. Uh, I think this is the five or di six disc set. Uh, five disc set shall we say of Francis Ford Coppola's sort of coming of age masterpiece shall we say um, this go movie for me goes really really well in hand with uh, another Coppola movie that he made at a similar time uh, Rumblefish I did order that but it didn't arrive in time uh, so that'll fit a, a feature in my October video um, but yeah this is a stellar set fabulous cast in this movie as well too many names to mention um but yeah, it's just absolutely wonderful, wonderful film. And um, another uh, 4K box that I picked up this month was Jackie Chan in the Police Story Trilogy. Um, yeah, absolutely wonderful release. I've only ever seen uh, the first Police Story. Haven't seen the second or third. Really surprised to find out that Jackie Chan actually directed the first two as well. Um but yeah, uh, these are some of the best. Well, the first one I've seen was one of the best action movies I've seen. Just really, really wonderful, really practical. And yeah, a uh, really, really good time, as it were. So I'm looking forward to re-watching the first one on 4K and seeing 2 and 3 for the first time as well on 4K. So yeah, that is the Police Story trilogy. And lastly, I'm going to get into the 4K Arrow box sets I've picked up. So the first one um, we've got is a movie I said I was going to mention. So that is the 4K of The Hills Have Eyes. Again, we've got the alternative artwork there on the Amory. Um, yeah, I know a lot of people either seem to love or hate this movie. I'm sort of in the middle camp. I don't mind it. I have a good time with it for what it was. 
4K of this movie is not great, to be honest. I think it's one of those movies where, depending on how it's shot, is it ever going to look great on 4K? I don't think so. Um, but, yeah, I, I, I still like the movie for what it was. And, you know, I'm, I'm happy to get it on 4K. Um, but as I said, it's not the best 4K I've seen. So, yeah, that is uh, the first The Hills Have Eyes. Uh, next up, I picked up five Dario Argento movies on 4K. So the first one I picked up was Phenomena, uh, again with Jennifer Connolly. And again, gone for the alternative artwork on the Amaray. And yeah, really, really nice set and solid release from Arrow with this one. Not my favourite Argento movie, um, but yeah, looking forward to giving it a rewatch and um, on 4K. So yeah, next up, I picked up one of my favourite Argento movies on 4K, that is Deep Red. Um, again, gone with the alternative artwork on the Amory. And yeah, just a really, really solid, creepy movie. Um, the the wind-up doll in this film creeps me the hell out. don't know what it is about it, that scene in particular, it just comes charging um, through that little office. <sighs> Yeah, um, it's real, real tense stuff. I think my favourite Argento movie is probably Suspiria, but yeah, Deep Red's up there and definitely in the top three. Um, next one I picked up was Tenebrae. Uh, again, gone with the alternate artwork on this one. And yeah, it's been a long time since I've seen these uh, Argento movies, so really looking forward to checking these out on 4K. Um Again, we've got what, uh, an earlier one. We've got the Cat and Nine Tales as well. Um, yeah, these the Arrow have just done a, a stellar job on these sets, so I'm really, really looking forward to checking out what the transfers look like. Again, gone with the alternative artwork. So that is uh, the Cat and Nine Tales. And our last Argento one I picked up was the Bed with the Crystal Plumage. Um, Again, gone with the original artwork. And yeah, it just looks fantastic, doesn't it? Arrow have really, really outdone themselves. I think with these sets. Um, next up, uh, got the 4K of uh, Candyman. Um, yeah, I, I probably was one of those people who didn't actually mind the remake. Or the, the remake slash sequel uh, that came out. What, what was it? One, two years ago. Um... But yeah, gone with the alternative artwork as well on the Amory. And there's the back. And the front again. Um, yeah, really, really cool sort of violent horror film. I really enjoy. Uh, next we've got... Yeah, this was, a, this was a huge surprise for me the first time I saw this and had to get it upgraded to, to 4K. So we've got True Romance as well. Again, gone with the original artwork. Yeah, just a stellar Tony Scott movie. This wonderfully written by uh, Tarantino, with an amazing cast, and yeah, just, just a fucking fantastic movie to be honest all around. See with Christopher Walken and um, Dennis Hopper, superb stuff. Uh, next, to go on with the John Landis movie, we've got the uh, An American Werewolf in London. Uh, superb artwork on this one. Just looks fantastic, and again, gone with the original artwork on the Amory. Yeah, fantastic film. One of the best, if not the best, werewolf movie, arguably. Fantastic transformation scene in it. Um, next, I picked up um, David Lynch's Dune. A flawed movie, but I quite like this movie for what it is. Um, I have fun with it. I think it's got a great cast. Um, but yeah, I decided to pick that up on 4K. Really, really like this movie for what it is. Uh, I do think the Den Evil New one is a better movie, uh, but I still have fun with that one. Uh, next, we've got a great creature feature. Uh, got Tremors. Looks amazing on 4K, I must say. Again, gone with the alternate artwork on that. And uh, yeah, really, really dig this film. Really dig Fred Ward's chemistry with uh, Kevin Bacon. And yeah, just have a good time with it. The, you could see the details in that movie, sort of all the little rocks and everything in it. Oh, it was just a star. And this is the last movie I picked up this month on 4K. This actually came today. 
Um, this movie is nothing shy of a masterpiece for me. And it is Paul Verhoeven's Robocop um, on 4K. I had quite an ordeal getting hold of this one. Um, but yeah, really, really glad it, it's finally come. I'm looking forward to checking it out on 4K. Gone with the alternative artwork there. So yeah, just a superb, superb looking set. Absolutely fantastic. Arrow just, just deliver really on these. I know I haven't really agreed too much with the movies Arrow have released. Um, but I must say when they do do a release, it's it's nothing short of, uh, of brilliant, to be honest. Um, so yeah, those are all of my Blu-ray and 4K pickups for the month of September 2022. Um, so yeah, apologies that this has gone on probably a lot longer than I, uh, I've meant it to. But if you've stuck to the end, thanks very much um, for watching and for your support. And uh, my next video hopefully is going to be um, five first time watches for September, which will be coming out uh, on the Saturday, um, October 1st. And yeah, I'll just leave the video there, guys, and say thanks very much for watching. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.